Good morning and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of morning prayer. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England, we uh, are asked to uh, celebrate the presentation of Christ in the temple, or Candlemas, as we call it. Uh, many of us celebrated this, translated it to last Sunday, um, but today is the official day in the Epiphany season. This day marks the completion of 40 days since the birth of Jesus, when Mary and Joseph took the child to the temple in Jerusalem. The requirement in Levitical law was for Mary to be cleansed, the completion of her purification following the birth of a male child. Until that day, she could touch no holy thing, nor enter the sanctuary. Yet, on seeing the Holy Family, Simeon praised God and acclaimed the infant as the light to enlighten the nations. And the prophet Anna gave thanks and proclaimed him her Redeemer. The image of Christ as the light has led to the celebration of light countering darkness, with candles often taking a central place in the observance of this festival. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory for ever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Blessed be God forever. The Jubilati, a song of joy. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is good. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us, let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 48, starting at the first verse, is we have waited on your loving kindness, O God. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great King. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized. Than there they writhed like women in labour, 
as when the wet east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we had heard, so we have seen, in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God, God has established her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praises reach to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Count all her towers. Consider well her bulwarks pass through her citadels. That you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. Father of lights, raise us with Christ to your eternal sister, city, that with kings and nations we may wait in the midst of your temple and see your glory for ever and ever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 146, starting at the first verse, is the Lord shall reign forever. The Lord shall reign forever. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power, for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forward, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. The Lord shall reign forever. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and, it, and all that is in them, who, kept, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong, and bread to those that hunger. The Lord shall reign forever. The Lord looses those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and the widow. By the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. O your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. The Lord shall reign forever. Lord of all, our breath and being come from you. Yet our earthly end is dust. As you loose the bound and feed the hungry, so bring us in your mercy through the grave and gate of death to the feast of eternal life, where you reign for evermore. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first scripture reading is from Exodus chapter 13, verses 1 to 16. The Lord said to Moses, Concentrate, concentrate, Consecrate to me all the firstborn, whatever is the first to open the womb among the Israelites of human beings and animals is mine. Moses said to the people, Remember this day on which you came out of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, because the Lord brought you out from there by strength of hand. No leavened bread shall be eaten. Today in the month of Abib, you are going out when the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites, the Amorites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, which he swore to our ancestors, give you a land flowing with milk and honey. You shall keep this observance in this month. For seven, day, seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day there shall be a festival to the Lord. 
Unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days. No leavened bread shall be seen in your possession, and no leaven shall be seen among you in all your territory. You shall tell your child on that day, It is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt. It shall serve for you as a sign on your hand and as a reminder on your forehead, so that the teaching of the Lord may be on your lips, for with a strong hand the Lord brought you out of Egypt. You shall keep his ordinance at its proper time from year to year. When the Lord has brought you into the land of the Canaanites, as he swore to you and your ancestors and has given it to you, you shall set apart to the Lord all that had first opened the womb, all the firstborn of your livestock that are males shall be the Lord. But every firstborn donkey you shall redeem with a sheep. If you do not redeem it, you must break its neck. Every firstborn male among your children you shall redeem. When in the future your child asks you, What does this mean? You shall answer, By strength of hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt from the house of slavery. When Pharaoh stubbornly refused to let us go, the Lord killed the firstborn in the land of Egypt from human firstborn to the firstborn of animal. Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord every male that first opens the womb, but every firstborn of my sons I redeem. It shall serve as a sign on your hand and as an emblem on your forehead that by strength of hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt. Our Canticle I have given you as a light to the nations and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says the Lord who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. I, our second reading this morning is from a letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 to 5. I appear to, uh, appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measurement of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ, and individually we are members of one and of another. Our responsory. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is King. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. To declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Our Gospel Canticle today is the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. 
The parents of Jesus marveled at what was said about him, and Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The parents of Jesus marvelled at what was said about him, and Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Gracious God, we thank you for this day and all the tasks that we are about. We pray for the world and its many needs. And we pray for the church and her life in local, national and international communities. We pray earnestly that the Church of Jesus Christ should be united about all the tasks that they have for the peace of this world and for the healing of the sick. And we pray especially for those who are concerned about their health, that they may recover and come back to their communities strong and able. We pray for those from whom the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ is hidden. May, they, may his good news be revealed. And we pray for all those who travel on this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our comment. Almighty and ever-living God, clothed in majesty, whose beloved Son was this day presented in the temple, in substance of our flesh, grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean, clean hearts. By your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Believing in the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us out to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for our morning prayer. We will be back with you at six o'clock to conclude the week. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.